We looked at the, the, the different options and the idea of creating our own curriculum. It was such a daunting experience, and, and quite frankly, I, I, I don't know if we ever could have gotten it right. So finding this program was, was really a godsend for us. I went to school for the first time when I was in seventh grade. Um, so both my parents were trained educators, um, and my mother was a stay-at-home mom who then became our full-time teacher. So I had an older brother and younger sister and me, and we were all homeschooled until my brother went to college and my sister and I went into middle school. It's relatively similar in terms of approach that Molly and Four are taking and the approach that, that we took. But this is evidence-based, research-based, cutting-edge approach to learning. Um, in a way that we didn't have those resources. My mother was not able to have those resources in the 1980s when, when we were in school. So it, the intentionality was there with my parents, um, but here it's intentionality, but backed by science and evidence. Um, and it's, it's just a joy to watch the approach in action. I mean, we are actually a global family. We are originally from Spain, but we've lived in, as a family in numerous countries and continents. We spend our time between Europe and the U.S. Um, from time to time, we try to carve out some time and go to visit some friends and places in Latin America or in Asia or in Africa, just to expose our kids to the you know, variety of macroeconomic backgrounds, you know, social differences, religions, cultures, and this is part of the foundation of our family. We, we are trying to raise global citizens and good human beings that have a very good understanding of the global challenges that we collectively are facing and try to be part of a solution. And um, that's why we chose Avenues and Avenues chose us. I take a lot of assurance in our decision by the level of enthusiasm that the kids show in the work that they're doing by the quality of discussions we're having around the dinner table that has been spurred on by the materials they're reading. Um, it comes out in spontaneous discussions of the history of a peppercorn to why, you know, these ideas uh, behind human rights and concerns about water shortages. These discussions that I've never heard before coming out of these children. I mean, I can tell you they have fabulous standardized test scores. They have, they, my daughter did excellent on the ACT. I have no concerns about her getting into a, a college. But that's not really what I consider the success markers. I consider it successful because they've made friendships around the world. We have visited with students from many different countries and these people are genuinely my children's friends. Uh, I can see it in their personal growth and development with how they conduct themselves in the world and they approach real world topics to have that kind of international community in one classroom is something I couldn't have recreated anywhere. Uh, so that's, that's what I consider the measure of success and why I'm, I feel confident in this decision, this journey we took. The world has changed massively. Companies that didn't exist 10 years ago are some of the biggest companies in the world, the biggest companies in the world, Facebook, Google, Tesla, et cetera. But education has remained the way it has been. And, and this is something I, I, I try and challenge at work and I, I challenge at home too, is why are we taking this approach? Is this just the approach that we've always taken? Let's think about it, is this the best approach? And that's exactly what I see in Aeon. It's let's take the approach that makes the most sense for this child. And that's based on evidence and research. And it sounds so simple, but education just hasn't progressed in a way that kind of the rest of the world has. Um, so to be able to be part of a program that is cutting edge and focused on how an individual student learns best um, was a dream of ours. And, and frankly, I didn't think it existed no. outside of homeschooling them myself. And that just isn't an option for, for any of us.